save here, then. Sounds good to me. Okay. We're gonna go ran all random again? Yes. Alright, you ready? Go. Okay, infallible, top left. Whirlwind, middle right. Well, don't tell me where they are. Let me find them. Uh, unstable. Unstable. Uh, there we go. Incongruent. Journey. Um, Kiss. Puppy. Oh. Uh, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, skirt. Uh, vertigo. Uh, shame. Hop. Uh, lust, bottom right. Sorry. Um, sunny. Shiny. Uh, fester. I did that one already once. Uh, I already did a fester one. Uh, shopping. Shopping. Uh, blanket. Blanket? Suicide. Tragedy. Tragedy, that's there. Nightgown. Uh, I already did a client. Uh, milk. M milk. Poof. <laughs> Poof! <laughs> that's a... Apparently a uh, mean thing to say or to call someone in Britain. Really? A poof. poof? It's kind of like a, kind of like a gay slur kind of thing. Really? Really? Yeah, you call someone a poof. It's kind of like ooh. I feel like I would... it'd be it'd be like calling someone. I've a... always thought that poof was more of like a uh, like a word for a sound effect, you know, like poof. Well, it, it is, yeah, yeah. But like if you if that's you, for like, American though. Yeah, but if you go into like like Britain and like call a dude a poof, it's like it's almost like in America you're calling. I'm gonna say this. I don't be. It's like calling someone a fag, right? right. Like, like now, like 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 where like a couple of years ago, like it's okay. You're like, oh, you're such a fag. But like now, it's like a slur against against. Like, oh, you're you're people, such right? a poof. Yeah, yeah. So so like, calling someone a poof. Yeah. That's, that's like, funny if you call someone nice. a poof here. It's like it reminds me of a cat that goes poof. Exactly. It, it's just like your hair is crazy or yeah. something. But no, no, in Britain, no. That's uh, you're liable to get punched by that gay dude. No. So. Yeah, there. The more you know, ladies and gentlemen. Aw, oh, man, I'm the last one here again. Don't worry, I just walked in too. Were you practicing piano again? Yeah. Haha. -ha. You must have a lot of determination. Starting this club and now picking up piano. Well, maybe not determination, but I guess passion. Remember that one club? Of... Remember that what? One... <laughs> Remember the club wouldn't be here if it wasn't for all of you. And I'm super happy that you're all willing to help out for the festival, too. Ah, I can't wait for the festival! It's gonna be great! Eh? Weren't you complaining about yesterday, Natsuki? Well, yeah. I'm not talking about our part of the festival. But it's the whole day of the school where we get to play and eat all kinds of delicious food. You sound a, a bit like Sayori all of a sudden. Monica! Do they usually have fried squid? Squid? That's a pretty specific thing to look forward to. Oh, come on. Are you saying you don't like squid? You of all people? Eh, I didn't say I don't like it. Besides, what do you mean by you of all people? Because it's right in your name. Mon Ika. I like Ika, like maybe it's ink? Well, Not the thing is, it would be a Japanese thing. Oh. For whatever squid means. Uh, okay, Here, like, let him explain it. Give yeah, it Monica. Eh! That's not how you say my name at all! Also, that joke makes no sense in translation. <laughs> See, yeah, like you said, in translation it just makes sense, but it would be the kanji letters. Oh. The two different kanji letters, so one probably means squid. Okay. Uh. Uh, never mind. Let's just focus on our own event for now, okay? <laughs> Fine, fine. Your reactions aren't as fun as Yuri's or Sayori's anyway. Excuse me. Let's see, where is Sayori anyway? Oh, there you are. Sayori's sitting at, at a desk in the corner of the room looking down at nothing. I walk over to her. Hey, Sayori. I wave my hand in front of her face. Uh-uh? You're spacing out again. Ah! Uh. Ehe, <laughs> sorry! Don't mind me! You can go talk to everyone else! Huh? Is everything alright? Uh, of course! Why wouldn't it be? I just feel like you're a little off. Sorry for assuming things. Jeez, you worry about me 
Too much about me. Fine, see? Sayori shows me a big smile. Don't let me distract you from having fun with everyone. Well, alright. If you say so. I worriedly glance at Sayori before turning back towards everyone else. But the conversation has already dispersed with everyone back at their usual activities. Maybe I should ask Monica if she's noticed anything about Sayori recently. Since they've been preparing for the festival, they must be spending a lot of time together. I timidly approached Monica, who was shuffling through some papers at her desk. Chad Kyle, what's Chad up? Chad Kyle. Hey, this might sound a little strange, but have you noticed anything up with Sayori lately? Anything up with her? In what way do you mean? Oh, again, yeah. I, I, okay, maybe I'm reading into it a little too much, but she seems a bit downcast today. Oh, you think so? I can't say I've noticed anything about her. Monica appears across the room with Sayori, who is idly dragging a rubber eraser up and down her desk. Maybe there is something on her mind. I'm surprised I'm not the one ask, not the one asking you, Chad Kyle. Chad Kyle. You certainly know a lot, but her a lot better than I do. Yeah, but she's she's never really like this. She's always talked to me about things that bothered her. But this time when I asked her, she was really dismissive. Sorry, I know it's not your problem. I just wanted to ask, and ask if you knew anything, so I'll drop it now. No, no. It's important to me, too. I mean, I'm also friends with her. And I care about her well-being of my club members, you know. Maybe I'll try talking to her myself. Huh? What are you, are you sure about that? She seemed like she wanted to be left alone. Are you sure? Maybe she just had a hard time bringing it up with the person of interest. Person of interest? What do you mean by that? I'm saying that maybe the thing on her mind is you, Chad Kyle. Chad Kyle? <laughs> Me? How on earth would you come to that conclusion? Well, I probably shouldn't say too much, but Suri talks about you more than anything else, you know. Yeah? She's been so much happier ever since you joined this club. It's like an extra light was turned on inside of her. What? No way. Sayori is always like that. She's always been full of sunshine. It's not any different now than it, has, than it always has been. Hee <laughs> hee. You're so funny, Chad Kyle. <laughs> Chad Kyle. Have you thought that maybe you've always seen her as so cheerful? Because that's how she, wa she is when she's around you. Huh? Ah, I said too much. Sorry, what do I know anyway? I didn't mean to jump to conclusions, so you should just forget about what I said. I'll try to talk to her, so try not to think about it now. Too much now. Ah, alright. Monica smiles meaningfully. I know she is, she said to forget about it. But I already know that I won't be able to get her words out of my head. Monica stands up from her desk and walks across the room to, to where Sayori is sitting. I watch her kneel down next to Sayori and gently talk to her. But she keeps but she's keeping her voice so quiet that I can't hear her her from here. I sigh and sit down. I know Sayori told me not to worry about her and to have have fun with everyone else. But that's impossible to do when she's behaving like this. Exactly how much do I care about her th that I'm letting this whole weigh me, let's see, letting this weigh me down so much. Now it feels like I'm the one behave behaving out of the ordinary, but there's nothing I can do out besides wait for Monica. Why does it feel like I'm being watched? I glance around the room. Suddenly I notice Yuri peering at me from over her book. But she, oh, but she looks away with... Uh, just as quickly with a flustered look on her face. I realize that she won't get anywhere like this. I've never really seen Yuri approach anyone to start a conversation of her own accord, so I have no choice but to approach her myself. By now, it's a little easier for me to do that. I stand up, stand up from my desk and sit down, sit in one next to her own. I I didn't mean to bother you or anything. Relax, you didn't even you didn't even do anything. But. I could tell that you wanted to be alone with your thoughts. Alone with my thoughts? How are you even able to tell that I was thinking like that? Well, 
It's something that I do a lot. So it wasn't hard for me to spot based on your posture and expression. N not that I was staring or anything. I didn't do anything creepy like that. In any case, I guess you were right. I'm sorry if I caused you any concern. Don't apologize. Your I troubles just did. are your troubles are only the concern of those who willingly share in that concern. Of course, there are certainly those who find the most comfort in keeping it to themselves. But if you would prefer to share what's on your mind, then I would be glad to listen. Ah, uh, it's really not that big of a deal. I was just feeling a bit uneasy about say uh Sayori. Sayori? Yeah, she seems a little off today, but when I asked her about it, she didn't want to admit to that. So I can't help but wonder if something happened to her. Well, that's quite romantic. Yeah? So, sorry! I, I didn't mean to say something stupid. And that, uh, it's not that. I just didn't want you to misunderstand. Sarah and I have just been friends for a long time, that's all. Ah. I see. Then perhaps it is unusual for her to be dismissive to you about her feelings. Or maybe I'm just reading into it a little too much. Chad Kyle. Chad Kyle. The world is full of meaning, often hidden deep beneath plain sight. And there are many untold mysteries behind every person, no matter how well you may know them. Ah. So you think that, let's see, there might be something behind it after all? Hmm. I think that Siori is a very complex person. Her mannerisms on the outside don't always match what may be going on inside her head, and she may not always know what she wants. But I noticed her strange behavior today, too. And I also feel some concern for her. But in your case, it looked like she was fully occupying your thoughts, wasn't she? Well, I guess that was the case. Siori, she really means a lot to you, doesn't she? Uh, I guess. Let's see. That's still you. Uh, but you don't... But, let's see. But you don't need to put it that way. We're just good friends, that's all. Mm. Yuri silently looks deeply into my eyes. Her expression is gen gentle and curious as if she was searching for something. Embarrassed, I avert my gaze. Sometimes... A person's mysteries are untold even to themselves, and you, as someone honest and caring, may uncover feelings you weren't aware were in you. That is, I think that she would be a very fortunate person to have you feel that way about her. Yuri? You're giving me too much credit. I'm a pretty simple guy, so I think I'm pretty good at understanding my own feelings. I'm not nearly as sophisticated as you. Uh, th that's not a compliment, is it? Uh, it is what it is. Anyway, as long as we're here, why don't you? Have, why don't we do some reading? Oh, well, as long as you're okay with it, yeah. Oh, wait, that's you. <laughs> See, yeah, it's true. Yeah, it's, it's so bad. Yeah. I, I should be taking my mind off this whole thing anyway. Why don't we go ahead and get started? Yes, let's. Actually, I have a request. Do you mind if I make some tea first? Not at all. Thanks very much. If there's one thing that can make my reading time here any better, it's a nice cup of tea. Not to mention for yourself as well. Yuri he stands up and makes her way to the closet. I follow and watch her as she receives a small water pitcher from the shelf, the kind with the filter inside. Can you hold this for a second? Sure. Yuri hands me the water pitcher and also fetches the, an electric kettle. I'm going to plug this in at the teacher's desk, and then we'll go get some water. She walks past me and sets the kettle down on the teacher's desk. I simply watch her movements. To my surprise, the way she moves really contrasts her speaking mannerisms. Especially because of her long legs, Yuri appears elegant and methodical. Okay, okay. may oh. I have the water pitcher? Thanks, I'll be right back. Ah, I might as well talk, walk with you. Mm, yeah, why not? Shall we go then? Yeah. Hmm? Where are you two off to? Bow chicka bow wow. I don't know. Oh, I'm just kidding. Uh, <laughs> yeah? 
Uh, we're just, Yuri was going to make some tea, so I suddenly realized how weird it sounded to explain this to Monica. We're just filling the water pitcher. Ah, okay. Sorry, I was just a bit curious. That kind of one person job, isn't it? That's... Monica, please mind your own business for once. Yeah, Monica, mind your or own business. Or do you want business. to tell me there's something wrong with helping involve Chad Kyle in club activities? Yeah, Chad Kyle. Uh... Yeah, my mouth gapes. I, I suppose there's nothing wrong with that. Hmm. Then let's go, Chad Kyle. Yeah, Chad Kyle. Yuri quickly exits the room, and I follow. Once in the hallway, she suddenly puts her forehead against the wall. I spoke without thinking. How could I say something like that? Yuri? I just... I, oh, dang. Something about the way she said that. It made me feel so irritated. What's wrong with me? No, Yuri. I think you did the right thing. I wasn't expecting it, but... It's, it's also not right for Monica to judge people like that. Chad Kyle. Chad Kyle. How come even when I do something bad, you're being nice to me? Because nothing nothing that you do is as bad as you make it seem in your head. Nobody's perfect. We have emotions and we can't always hide them, at, hide them away. But you always amplify things in your head. Your mind turns a, a light rain shower into a hurricane. Uh, no. Wouldn't you hate me for something as terrible as that? Why would I hate you? I can't hate someone for having emotions. What kind of friend would do that? F friend? You say? Uh, um... Yuri lifts her head. Chad Kyle. Chad Kyle. I really like being friends with you. Aha! Uh -huh. <laughs> friend zone! Woo! <laughs> yeah, well, that, that, that just shut that one. Thanks, Yuri. I like being friends with you, too. I feel kind of awkward saying something like that. But I'm doing my best to help Yuri feel better. Anyway. Uh, yeah. Shall we go? Yeah. Yuri and I walk to the nearest water fountain. Once we fill the water pitcher, we return to the classroom. Chad Kyle. Chad Kyle. Do you like oolong tea? Uh, yeah. Anything is fine. Very well. Yuri sets the temperature on the kettle to 200 degrees. Now it's time to get the teapot. You really you really do this properly, don't you? Of course. I shouldn't do any less when I'm making tea for others. Oh, even if I'm not an expert on tea or anything? <sighs> In that case, you'll only be even more impressed. Ah, oh, perhaps I will. Yuri fetches the teapot and begins measuring the tea leaves. To my surprise, she even starts humming a little to herself. You must be in a good mood now. Is that so? I was letting it show. And you noticed. I was doing a bit of thinking, and I decided that I would try expressing myself a little bit more. It turns out it's not very hard for me to do. When it's you who's around anyway. Ugh. That's great, Yuri. Just don't push yourself too much. You're always worrying about me, Chad Kyle. It's very endearing. You didn't say Chad Kyle! Chad Kyle. I caught oh, you that no. time. You've been waiting for that moment. Yeah. <laughs> Gosh dang it. It's very endearing. That's... Ah, Yuri wasn't kidding. I'm all depressed now. I, I don't even know if I can <laughs> keep up with this. I want you to pour a cup of tea for each of us. Chad Kyle? Chad Kyle. I have, a, I have another request. Do you mind if we sit on the floor today? Uh, why is that? It's a little bit easier on my back. I can read with my back against the wall rather than bending over at my desk. Ah, oh, sorry, I didn't realize. No worries. I just have back pain fairly regularly, so I do my best to manage it. Uh, is that so? I wonder why that is. It's mostly because my... Ah! Uh, my, my, my... Your posture, right? Always hunched over like that while reading? Uh, y yeah, yes! I have terrible reading posture. So that's why we should sit on the floor. Fair enough. I'll go ahead and get the books. Book. 
books. I retrieved the book from my bag. Ah, I have some chocolate as well. Uh, it's a small bag of chocolate candies that I kept hidden from Sayori's candy radar. I take I take it since it'll go well with the tea. Yuri and I then sit against the wall, teacups at our sides. As if in sync, we consume the same. Let's see. Uh, we assume the same reading position as last time, each holding one half of the book. Except this time, our bodies are even closer to each other. Ooh. Yeah! Ooh, damn! Woohoo! That's getting hot. I can't see too well. Huh? Yuri slides closer until our shoulders are touching. How am I supposed to focus on reading like this? Yuri was always kind of cute, but. Ooh, when high she, school! Yeah. <laughs> okay. But she's being less apprehensive. Let's. Uh, it's almost more than I can handle. Your teacup. Yuri hands me my teacup. Holding it in my hands, that's not holding the book, I end up in a position that makes it even harder to focus. Because now I need to worry about making sure I don't accidentally touch her chest. Meanwhile, Yuri hasn't noticed a single thing. She wears her intense reading expression, and I can only presume the world around her has faded away. I use all my willpower to focus on reading. After a few minutes, I finally manage to relax a little. I put the teacup between my legs and fumble with the chocolate wrapper. Ah, sorry. I briefly let go of the book to finish opening the wrapper. You can have as much as you want. Ugh, that's... That's okay. I won't take any. Uh, are you sure? Well, if I touch it, then I might get smudges on the pages. Ah, you're right. I didn't even think about that. My bad. My bad. No need to apologize. No need to oh, apologize. I'll hold the book, okay? Are you sure? Of course. Yuri opens the book with both hands. She holds it, hold, holds it so I don't have any harder. Okay, so I don't, I don't have any harder of a time reading from it. But as a result, her left arm is practically resting on top of my leg. Well, in that case, Yuri is already totally focused on her reading again. I take a chocolate candy and pop it into my mouth. Then I take another chocolate. I hold it up to Yuri. She doesn't even look look away from the book. She simply parts her lips as if the, this situation was completely natural. But that means I can't stop here. I apprehensively place the chocolate in her mouth. Just like that, Yuri closes her lips over it. Huh? Yuri's expression suddenly uh, breaks. Did, did I just... Yuri looks at me like she needs to be com needs to confirm what just happened. Uh, oh. uh, um, Chad Kyle. Chad Kyle. S sorry, I guess I shouldn't have done that. Uh, uh, oh. that's, well, y you were you were just helping. That's something that friends do, right? I mean, not really in this kind of context, but yeah, that's all it was. Yeah, then. You don't need to stop or anything. I I see. The situation has gotten really tense. Yuri tries to return to the book, but I can tell just by her expression that even she can't focus now. My heart is pounding. I nervously take another chocolate between my fingers, but this time Yuri's eyes meet mine. Mm. How did it even come to this? Yuri doesn't even doesn't avert her gaze. I notice her chest rising and falling to the rhythm of her breaths. I raise my arm. Uh, like before, Yuri parts her lips, but it's different this time. I take the chocolate and place it in her mouth. I feel her hot breath on my fingers. Okay, everyone! Oh. <laughs> of course! <laughs> oh, oh, uh, Yuri jolts back. It's time, oh. Oh, it's time to share poems! Uh, Chad Kyle, can you help Yuri put away the Chad tea stuff, right? Kyle. Yeah. Of course. I love disappointment, Chad it, Kyle. It's like Chad Kyle's like, Chad, <laughs> You're Chad, like Chad Kyle. <laughs> Chad Kyle's pissed off. Chad Kyle was about to get some, but Chad Kyle did not get some. Chad Kyle. <laughs> Chad Kyle's sad. <laughs> the spell is abruptly broken. Uh, I'll, 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 I'll take care of the cups. Yeah. Here he picks up the teacups from the floor. I pick up the bag of chocolates. In the end, we hastily clean up without so much as a word between us. I get the feeling that this is something neither of us have the courage to bring up. 
All right, who's who do you want to show your poem to first? Let's do uh, Sayori. Sayori? Yeah. Yo, can we cut for like two seconds? I got like serious cod mouth. What? Like, can we cut for like two seconds? Just gonna run up and grab a drink. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Like serious cotton mouth. Cotton mouth. What yeah. does that mean? Like it's all dry. Oh. oh. Gotta We're like over here. Like what the heck? <laughs> <laughs> hmm. It's nice, I guess. Come on, I can already tell you don't like it. Well, you don't need to worry about what I think. After all, you wrote this for someone else, didn't you? Probably Yuri. Huh? I didn't write this for anyone specifically. Maybe. That's not that's not really meant though. But it's okay. You're making new friends just like I was hoping. That makes me really happy. And you're happy too, right? In this club? Well, of course I am. Good. That's all that matters to me. Thank you, Chad Kyle. Chad Kyle. Sayori, is there something wrong? Huh? No, nothing. I'm just a little tired, to, tired today. Hee <laughs> hee. All right. Just tell me if you need anything. I will. Don't worry about me, okay? You can go play with everyone else now. If you insist. Yay! I'm going home a little bit early today. Sorry? Tell Monica I wasn't feeling well, okay? I'll see you tomorrow. Before I can say anything else, Sayori cheerfully walks out of the classroom, humming to herself. You didn't read her poem, right? No, no we That's didn't. weird. No, well, let's do Yuri. We're already in that rabbit hole. Chad Kyle. Chad Kyle. Your writing has only improved in these last few days. Every poem you've shown me has been nothing short of spectacular. I can really feel the emotions. I'm a little envious, even. I don't think it ever came to me this naturally. Yuri, that's the wrong way to put it. This never did come naturally to me. But I've been able to improve so much thanks to you. You're really, uh, you're really the example I was chasing after. I, I, is that so? Yuri gently smiles to herself. This feeling. I'm so glad I got the chance to share my writing. I never thought... It would feel like this. I remember you mentioning that yesterday. I can't believe that you're such, uh, you're so good at something and you've never even shared it with anyone. It's kind of a shame. Maybe, but it's not like I really had a choice. What do you mean? Well... Yuri smiles sadly. Chad Kyle. Chad Kyle. During lunchtime, I eat by myself. Did you know that? It's a great time to find a quiet spot and do some reading. In fact, I always have some books with me. You could say I really enjoy reading. Well, that's one way to put it anyway. But books are so full of amazing and inspiring people. Books you want to fall in love with. Where people you just want... Where people you just know would make a really good friend. Cheerful people who always put a smile on your face. Or deep thinkers and problem solvers who discover the mysteries of life. So when you look at it that way, I'm surrounded by friends every day, you know? And those friends don't laugh at me. They don't tease me for spacing out all the time. They don't make fun of my body type. And, and they don't hate me for acting like a know-it-all. People say that about you? I'm not a know-it-all, Chad Kyle. Chad Kyle. It's the opposite. I don't know anything. I don't know how to talk to people. I don't know how to make people see me as normal. I don't even know how to make myself happy. I have all these feelings, and all I can do with them is read and write. But it wasn't until now that I started sharing it with you, that I really understood what was missing all this time. But I haven't really done anything. No, that's wrong. Just being patient and respectful that's really important to me. I know I'm a difficult person, Chad Kyle. Chad Kyle. I speak too slowly. I second guess myself all the time. 
I read too deeply into things. But every time, you've always treated me just like anyone else. It's so rare that I feel comfortable with myself when I talk to others. But that's why every time I talk to you, I just feel really happy. I see. Well, I treat you how you deserve to be treated, Yuri. And if other people don't see it that way, then screw them. I mean, I, I joined this club hoping I would make friends. And I would say I've had a lot, at least one success. Wouldn't you? Um, if you put it that way, yeah. We really are friends now, aren't we? Yuri puts her head in her hands. But this time she's smiling as she does it. Do you want to show me your poem? Yeah, I do. Let me get it for you. Okay. Uh, beach. A marble millions of years in the making. Where Some the, of the beach! <laughs> where, where, the, where the womb of, womb of, of earth Chaotically? Is that, yeah, that is chaotically meets the surface. Under a clear blue s sky, an expanse of bliss. But breath... Uh, beneath. Beneath? Oh, that's, yeah, that is an N, not an, e, not an R. Uh, but beneath, beneath gray rolling clouds and endle an endless enigma, the easiest world to get lost in is one where everything can be found. One can only build a sandcastle where the sand is wet. Where the sand is wet, the tide comes. Will it gently lick at your foundation until you give in? Or all of a sudden send you crashing down in the blink of an eye? Either way, the outcome is the same. Yeah, we still build the sand castle. Yeah, we still build sand castles. I stand where the, where the foam wraps around my ankles, where my toes squish into the sand. The salty air is therapeutic. The breeze is gently yet powerful. I sink my toes into the ultimate boundary line, tempted by the foamy tendrils, I think that's tendrils, uh, turn back and I abandon my piece to a road on, uh, is that a road? Okay, at the shore to, what at the shore, I, I can't tell what. Uh, what line are you on? Uh, second from the last, a road or something? Turn back and I abandon my piece to it rode at the shore. Yeah. Okay. Okay. That it didn't. Say, it didn't sound right. It's a rode. But it, or evade. No, that's how it be. That's an R. R. Yeah. That's good. That's it. Rode. Rode at the shore. Oh uh, yeah, that's right. Road. But that means road. to like yeah. Yeah, it's wash away. Kind of wash away, yeah. but like slowly. I got gotcha. you. Dri drift forward, and I return to Earth forevermore. Freaking cursive. <laughs> um, I'm aware that the beach is kind of an inane thing to write about. But I did my best to take a metaphorical approach to it. You say that you, uh, that like, you say that, like, you didn't even want to write about it? Oh, you haven't heard? After yesterday, Hatsuki and I, well, it was amusing that we wrote about something similar in such different ways. So, Natsuki wanted us to write about the same topic as each other again. Am I supposed to better compare the differences in our writing styles or thought processes? Anyway, it was her idea. Knowing her, it's no surprise that she'd want to do something like that. She probably just wants to show off. It's not like I have a particular interest in her writing style. I just went with her request. But, well, I suppose it's not so bad to write about something simple on occasion. It can be refreshing, you know? It's good for me to calm my thoughts once in a while. Yeah, I think I agree. Thanks for sharing. Alright, who's next? Alright, let's do uh, Natsuki. This one's alright. Alright? Well, yeah. About as good as yesterday's, anyway. I see what you're going for, but it's just not really my style. I mean, that's fine. I'm mostly just glad that you're trying a little bit. Well, of course I'm at least trying. Why are you so emotionally invested in my poems anyway? Isn't that more of a com compliment to me? Eh? No! Gross! It's not like I care! It's just that one of us in this club has to make sure you're not slacking off! Really? Well, what if you ended up just scaring me away? That's, um... 
It's not like you would actually do that. Yeah, you're right. It's kind of fun uh, to hang out here, even if I have to put up with you. <laughs> uh, Natsuki's elbow connects with my stomach. Oh, maybe I won't mind scaring you away after all. I was just joking. Oh, I know. Don't worry, I was too. <laughs> How the hell do you call that a joke? That it seriously hurt. See, well, maybe it was it was funny to her. I guess that that's kind of the point. I should really just wash my mouth around Natsuki. Anyway, Natsuki holds her palm out to me like nothing ever happened, even happened. Ah, oh, thank goodness. I'll be, <laughs> a, I'll be your a beach. beach. I'll be your beach. <laughs> that sounds terrible. <laughs> hey, Lassie, I'll be your bitch. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, your mind is so full of troubles and fears that, that diminished your wonder over the years, but today I have a special place, a beach for us to go. A shore reaching beyond your sight, a sea that sparkles with brilliant light. The walls in your mind will melt away before the sunny glow. I'll be the beach that washes your worries away. I'll be the beach that you <laughs> daydream about each day. I'll be the beach that makes your heart leap in a way you thought had left had left you long ago. Let's bury your heavy thoughts in a pile of sand, bathe in, in sunbeams, hold my hand, wash your insecurities in the salty sea. Uh, let me see you shine. I'll leave your worries in a foot... Let's see. Let's leave your memories in a footprint trail. Set you free in my windy sail and remember the reasons you're wonderful when you press your lips to mine. I'll be the beach that washes your worries away. I'll be the beach that you daydream about each day. I'll be the beach that makes your heart leap in, in a way that you thought had left you long ago. But if you, if you let me by your side, your own beach, your own escape, you learn to love yourself again. Ah, there we go. Ah, that's that's kind of nice. cute. Yeah. Yeah. I felt like I kept writing about negative things, so... I want to write something with a nice message for once. She, I, mean, I actually got to see your cute personality. It's kind of nice. About dang time. Besides, the beach is awesome. <laughs> yeah, the beach is awesome. Yes. kind of hard to write anything negative about the beach. Uh, well, Yuri's take on it was a little more solemn. Well, that's... She, she better not have said anything bad about mine. After all, she was the one who wanted us to write about the same topic. Uh, you can really see her doing that, too. Make us write about this simple topic, then trying to impress me by coming up with something all fancy. Well, it's not like I care. I just did it anyway. I mean, I guess mine ended up being kind of metaphorical too. But there's nothing wrong with doing that once in a while. At the very least, it was good practice. All right, uh, all right Monica. Monica. Hey, Chad Kyle. Chad Kyle. Have you thought about what you want to submit to perform at the festival? That specifically. Well, being in this club is one thing, but performing in front of a bunch of people, I'll have to give it some more thought. Okay, no pressure. But whatever you do, I'm sure it'll turn out great. It would also make me happy to see. Ahaha. Anyways, let's take a look at today's poem. Sure. I'll let Monica take the poem I'm holding in my hands. Hmm. This one's good. Feels like you're not only getting more confident with your style, Story. but the imagery is better than the last one I read. Just wondering, but have you been finding inspiration in Yuri's writing style? Hmm, I guess so. You can't deny that she's talented. Yeah, totally. I think her poems are the most romantic. That's the best way to describe it. She's like a totally different person when she picks up a pen. I noticed that too. Or when she's talking about literature, it's like a light turns on inside her. Mm-hmm. Sadly, it's hard to get much personal conversation out of her. Trust me, I've tried. Who knows what goes on that head of hers? I hope you don't mean that in a bad way. No, of course not. I just mean I wish she didn't keep so much to herself. But still, defending her like that, you must be pretty into her. Huh? You completely misunderstood. Haha, <laughs> calm down, I'm kidding. 
Besides, I'm pretty sure she's already got a boyfriend. Wait, really? Yeah, a fictional one, anyway. Monica kind of whispers that last part to me. It's just a hunch, but... Well, there's not really anything wrong with that. Ah, well, I know. I was just saying... Anyway, I'll share my problem with you now, alright? Cool. Er, alright. See, here we go. Wow. Oh, yeah, she does like to use this face. The lady who knows everything, an old, an old tale taste tells of the lady who wanders earth. The lady who knows everything. A beautiful lady who has four... Found. Found every answer. All meaning, all purpose, and all that was uh, ever sought. And here I am, a feather. Lost adrift, uh, lost adrift, the sky, a victim of the currents of the wind. Day after day I search, searching with little hope, knowing legends, legends don't exist. But when all else has failed me, when all others have turned away, the legend, the legend is all that remains. The last dim star glimmering in the, in the twilight sky. Until one day, the wind ceases to blow. I fall, and I fall, and fall, and fall even more. Gentle as a feather, a day, uh, a dry quill, expressionless. But, but a hand catches me between the thumb and fourth finger, and the hand, the hand of a beautiful lady. I look in her eyes and find no one to her. No, no end. No end to her. Yeah, I missed that one. Uh, the lady who knows everything knows what I'm thinking before I can speak. She responds in, in a hollow voice. I have found every answer, all of which amounts to nothing. There is no meaning, there is no purpose, and, and we seek the only impossible. I am not your legend. Uh, your legend does not exist. And with a breath, she blows me back afloat, and I pick up a, gu pick up a gust of wind. You know, I feel like learning and looking for answers are sort of things that give life meaning. Not to get too philosophical. Philosophical. Philosophical? Philosophical or anything, thanks. But it was kind of on my mind, so that's what I wrote about. I see. I didn't really put much thought into it. Oh, excuse me. In a way, it's almost a paradoxical. Because if we all had all the answers, wouldn't the world start to lose its meaning? Uh, you know, there's one thing I noticed. It seems like everyone in the club prefers writing about things that are more sad than happy. Haha, <laughs> are, are you surprised? I mean, if everything was okay, we wouldn't really have anything to write about, would he? Humans aren't two-dimensional creatures. I think you know that better than anyone. You mean one-dimensional? Haha, <laughs> yeah, that. Anyway, here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Here we go. Are you ever too shy to share your writing because you're afraid it's not good? It can be really disheartening to get a lukewarm response to something you put in so much into. But if you can find another person who's enjoying writing, then sharing becomes a lot easier. Because instead of telling you that your writing is good or bad, okay or bad, they want to focus more on everything that went into it and the things you can work on. It's much more encouraging that way and it'll make you want to continue, continue improving. It's almost like having your own little literature club, don't you think? That's Word. my advice for today. Thanks for listening. Okay, three. All right, you know what? I think we're actually going to uh, wrap this up here for tonight. Okay, okay that sounds good. Yeah. Uh, we, I will say this, we have still yet to scratch the surface of this game. Oh, wow. So that being said, Ezra, until next time, don't look into this game. I won't. I won't. Don't, don't look into, like, the spoilers of it. I got you. I got you. All right. So, anywho, th thank yeah. you guys for joining us. Yeah, uh, we hope you, uh, you're you enjoying this uh, so far uh, in uh, Doki Doki Literature Club at Later Game Night. Uh, you can uh, follow our social media through the description below, and you can find Vicky in our description as well, as well as in the, the end card of Yay! our videos. So, Absolutely. Yeah, so do you want to tell people where they can find you? You can find me on YouTube or Twitch at Vicky's Anime. Just type in V-I-K-I-S anime, and you'll literally find me everywhere. Nice. Nice. Well, well, everybody, thanks for joining us. Don't forget to like and subscribe, share with your friends. And if you want to see more content like this, check out our social media. You'll be up to date on everything that we've got going on. So uh, we'll see you guys next time. All Toodles. right. See you, Bye. see you tomorrow night.